Here we are again, gentlemen, cave diving into yet another stinky and festering asshole, our favorite pastime activity. With Miles Morales just released, I thought why not challenge Spider-Man PS4 one last time? A nice little tug on the boner for some quick goofs and gaffs. Can you beat Spider-Man PS4 without ever dodging? Now before we continue, I feel as though it is in my moral and virtuous duty to inform you guys that the content in this video is cringe AF 100 emoji. Watching someone not dodge when it is a main mechanic in a game can change a man. I've seen lives lost, wars started, pop tarts being left half eaten. This video will leave men and their erections shaken and destroyed. If you believe that you are functioning at a satisfactory level in both your emotional and behavioral state, then go ahead and continue. If not, turn back now. <laughs> The rules this run are simple. Not a single dodge can be performed. To ensure that I do not commit the cardinal sin of instinctively pressing the circle button, we will be removing it altogether and be replacing it with what any rational being would replace it with. Will I survive the subway fight with Mr. Negative? Will the great and illustrious Senza be able to withstand the circumcision this game will provide? Well, go ahead and grab your strap-ons and Spider-Man themed Stop. panties. Let's find out the answers to these questions together. Marvel and their version of New York is pretty much a simulation of what it's like to grow up with cocaine as a father, and this game starts out solidifying that statement. To change things up for you gentle boys and girls, I have decided to treat you guys with an unpleasant surprise, just like the juice that comes out of a mustard bottle when you forget to shake it. Instead of swinging, we are going to be walking to the first destination. I'm sure the little boys and girls back at home are probably going to be screaming to their parents and shitting in their diapies after this one. But this this is merely a test designed to see if you are all ready for the unhealthy amount of fuckery we are going to be getting into. My first set of enemies were getting it and they were getting it good. For a quick second there, I thought I could have slapped my cock up and down on this controller and finished the entire game without a problem. But then I realized that I was incredibly wrong and much like my actual life, this was going to be brief disappointing, and downright sad. By the end of this run, I am guaranteed to have at least one entire hernia from the pounds of pressure I will be exerting on my ass cheeks from all the clenching. We were now back to our regularly scheduled disappointment. Peter Parker had a sickness for the thickness, and the only cure was a tussle with Mr. Thickums himself. After getting my shit together and enforcing my masculinity on the doofus, it was time for the actual game to begin. To keep up with the tradition of these shorter videos, we will be collabing on this masochism with a very special guest, a tier list. The first and last ever annual 2020 highly anticipated. I'd much rather drink water from a septic tank than suffer through this shithole just to appease the masses and boost my YouTube credit score, tier list. On this list, I'll rate each boss in difficulty in correlation with the current challenge. Our purpose is to help consolidate this video's educational content into an easy format to bring you, my precious viewers, all the info I know you love, expect, and enjoy from this family-friendly YouTube channel. On the super long name and not funny at all tier list, we are going to have to rank this fight in at A. After Fisk was sent to the Crowbar Hotel, I got to see my precious OG Peter for the last time. That one. and then took my stupid pills and applied my prescription hemorrhoid cream. Dodging is an essential piece of the Spider-Man formula, and the devs of this game unfortunately didn't cater to an anomaly like me. I was about to be showered in probably the filthiest part of a dog's asshole, and being the anime protagonist I am, I wasn't going to let any challenge stand in my way. For the first quarter of the game, I could tell you all about the wonders that occurred, stories that pertained such elegance that would make even the most prolific playwrights erect and foaming out of the mouth. But instead, I'll just do my best to show you this authentic I will do my best. Why I cannot <laughs> <use this hour. laughs> As you can see, this method of playing Spider-Man is definitely not an efficient and viable way to enjoy this game. Little Miss Poolips over here invited me on a dinner date, and as I explained to her the potential that is me forming a brain aneurysm from these runs, our weekly broadcast was rudely interrupted. That figgity f known as the Shocker was on the loose, and because I was the only knowledgeable crime-fighting expert in this field, I was going to have to deal with this myself. Don't you viewers worry, I won't be talking about the visceral and intense combat this chase scene provided. I do this because I care about you all, and also because I'm pretty sure you didn't bring an alternative pair of panties. 
This was it. I caught the shocker doing a crime that came with a lifetime sentence and a full-fledged canceling on Twitter. This man was stealing money from the bank to donate to his favorite female streamer. It seems as though he would do anything just to give her that tier 3 sub. On the tier list, I'm going to have to give the shocker the first S of this run. Without using any webs or web zip, this man will go shun Goku Satsu on your asshole and he won't even bother asking if you're prepared. Majority of the footage here is disgusting and not even allowed on YouTube, so I won't be showing you much of it. But what I will say is that the Shocker truly wasn't a man of God or the web. With the Shocker down, this is the part in the script where I go into depth on the details of the next testicle twisting encounter. But you know what? No, no, no. Things are getting better. Getting through the first set of enemies was a breeze. It was beautiful, something that even Homer himself would write about. I had this baby on lock, or so I thought. I mean, th this happens every video. I don't know what you guys were expecting. Davis sat back and enjoyed the hashtag OnlyFans live pounding sessions. And after we spirit bomb combined our strength to save New York, I threw on the hard hat to catch up with a few demons at the construction site. Not only did they not practice social distancing, but also their AIDS was spreading at alarming rates. This area was pretty much an ingrown hair on my ass cheek. With my low health pool and a lack of gadget upgrades, I was pretty much doomed and had to resolve to the environment to assist in killing my enemies. It also didn't help that they were obsessed with me, so damn obsessed that they would eat the corn out of my feces just to say that we had dinner together. After some work, these goons and I were able to figure out the optimal ratio of supplying each other with that sweet, sweet masochism, and I saved New York from impending doom. Due to the contract that I have signed with you guys, I must tell you, this is where I sort of lost the challenge. During the helicopter scene, the game wants you to press the circle button to dodge incoming attacks. I super f***ed myself 64 and there was nothing I could do about it. Lost like a fart in the Sahara, I thought that this was over. I did technically fail the challenge here and dodge this man's attack, but we're going to keep on going because I swore on my Tims that I wouldn't stop until the fat lady came. Following HR protocol, Mr. Negative's men did what they were told to and brought us the pain of a thousand commit eat tortilla chips vertically. Davis was dead and I, I was Davis stated. Maybe we will see him again in Miles Morales or even our wet dreams. On the tier list, Davis dying gets an S tier. Many will probably be wondering why he is even on the tier list, and that is because it is impossible for us to dodge the grief that will consume us after his death. In this series, the consolidated shipping area gave me the majority of the beatdowns I have received. With just the right amount of agony, a pinch of cock and ball torture, and around two tablespoons of overwhelming nuisance, this place was whipping up the perfect, this game could go f itself cake. And I don't even like cake. All I gotta say is for that those that love any sort of torture without dodging on a new save and no gear upgrades, alongside this area is perfect for any of your fetishes. The perfect masochist Minecraft seed, if you will. Silver Shitface invited herself in on this orgy and asked me what the f is going on. I explained to her that she basically walked in on an abusive relationship between Insomniac and I. So tell me, what does she do? She decides that she'd like to add to it. I mean, what in the f this septic tank of an area was much different from what we have faced so far. Even with the expansion of my skill trees, my low health pool and my enemy's astronomical big dick damage was leaving me not wanting this anymore. These sphincter scientists tested and proved their non-family friendly hypotheses on poor little me. Other than that, there hasn't been enough tier list in this tier list video. So let's get back to what you guys all came here for. The first fight with Mr. Negative, not to be mistaken as Martin Lee, because my boy Martin Lee did nothing wrong, was a real hemorrhoid squeezer. On the super funny tier list with the funny name tier list, I'm going to be throwing this fight under the A category. If I had a significantly higher health pool or maybe even other gadgets, this would have gone a lot smoother. But this one is just a toughie with the amount of foot soldiers being thrown at you and not being able to dodge at all. Mr. Negative somehow disabled PvP and used the Pokemon escape rope to get the f*** 
out of there. He was gone, and honestly, if I was on the hunt myself, I would have called it here. But Spider-Man felt different about this one. All I gotta say was that Martin Lee, Mr. Negative Pussy, must be on some different shit, because not even the actual goddamn Shadow Realm would stop Spider-Man from chasing after what he wanted. Soon thereafter, Mary Jane was able to track down Mr. Negative's next community orgy night. And with a bit of struggling later, it was now time for the subway boss fight with Mr. Negative. Mr. Negative does not hesitate at bringing you to his Thunderdome and slapping your hams around with every bit of force his body could possibly exert. And all you can do in this situation is take that cock to the face like any brave man would, not dodging any of his attacks. I used to feel safe here in New York, but nowadays, you can bet your sweet ass that a man with inhuman superpowers will hop on the subway while you're trying to get to work and Thanos snap you from existence. On Ultimate, this fight is f***ed. Uh, it's literally impossible. Possible. But of course, I didn't want to end the video here, so I had an idea. Switching the game to the easiest difficulty allows you to survive his beatings and actually put in some work. This method may or may not satisfy your loins, but either way, we will count this as a success because I was able to avoid dodging. On the Can Spider Man Survive Being Brutally Beaten and Maimed Because He Can't Dodge tier list, we will have to put this one down on the lowest tier. With the game being on easy, you can just eat those hits like a champ and then proceed to defecate all over his face. Hey guys, post-production Senza here, just chiming in to say that technically this fight deserves an S because it would be impossible without pretty much cheating. I just wanted to throw that in there before you guys started pounding my cheeks in the comments section below. So yeah, let's get back to the spicy masochism. The infamous boy band group, the Sinister Shitheads, made a reunion and it was time. Time to finally end this run and finish off this tier list. But first, this specimen of the Chadley type, aka me, had to experience a few unorthodox methods that my so-called friends wanted to show me. These methods did involve my lifeless body hurtling at comfortable speeds through the skies of New York and nearly 100 retries here in Suplex City. But it was, it was a great time. I quite enjoyed it. Alright, we good here, we good here. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Fuck, man. My affliction was over, and I could now cross this off the bucket list that I just wrote. Just like how every day is pretty much a waste if you aren't thinking about Minecraft and anime titties, these two goons, Crackhead Thor and Vulture, were a waste of life. It was up to me, the man that bore a rare handicap known as not being able to dodge, to take care of them once and for all. The beginning phase with Electro was a breeze, but when Vulture joined in on the fun, this is where things started to become difficult. The biggest deal here was that Vulture had an attack that I could do nothing about. Any sentient and or functioning human being could just use their brain and easily dodge this attack. But I, I fucking couldn't. So that meant that this man could perpetually spread my cheeks without even trying. After about 16 deaths or so, I used my genius intellect to decipher a plan, and man, that plan was great. Swinging over to any of the buildings and avoiding air combat allows you to fight Vulture without ever having him touch you without consent, thus giving us our victory royale. I can tell you all now that this is probably the second most beautiful thing you will ever witness. Now you're probably asking, what would be the first most beautiful thing? Senza, and that would be, well of course, sealed copies of Shrek 1 and 2 on VHS. To wrap this up, we'll throw this fight on the tier list under a mediocre B and move on to the next one. My autistic dominance was on the rise, and it was clear that I had this run in the bag. The only way to combat the tyranny of failed abortion and scorpion was by speaking a language that only they understand. This shit was high risk, high reward, baby. The type of stuff that you all came here for. Using the environment was all I needed to kill Rhino, but Scorpion, Scorpion was just built differently. That man could literally hear the sound of my sweaty balls unsticking from my thigh from across the shipyard and whip out a protractor and a TI-84 calculator to find the directional derivative of my next location. After all of that hard work, he would then proceed to fuck me with it and leave me swollen. On the tier list, this fight gets a C. To finish off Scorpion, just make sure you are about 46 and a half hot dog packets away from him or 89 tubs of Belle Delphine's bathwater for the D-Gens out there that still use that as a form of measurement. Ah, finally, here we are. The conclusion of this run and the final tussle. Hey guys, morning time editor Senza here once again. I somehow forgot to throw Mr. Negative's final fight in 
the script, so here I am to answer for my crimes. This fight was actually easy, as you can weaponize pretty much everything in the arena, except for our feelings on the fact that Mr. Negative did nothing wrong. We can never weaponize that. Honestly, this fight in the game overall is pretty much pay to win, because you're going to need a new pair of undies after the incessant dicking you are going to give this man. Once you are done giving him a debris enema, this fight is pretty much over, throwing this bad boy on the tier list under S tier. You can easily complete this fight without dodging. Thanks for listening to my TED talk. Enjoy the rest of the video, and uh, next time I'll make sure not to be such a fing dumbass. This anime's antagonist was before me, and it was time to see if I could beat this game without dodging, even though I technically failed a couple of times, but we're not going to talk about that. Coming into this fight, it is important that you have a calm and focused demeanor, as that is very important to making sure that this is doable. Dr. Otto rammed open the gates of Valhalla using my asshole, but eventually, I developed a tactic. For this fight, you pretty much play catch with the dad that you never had, and once our bully gets his ass beat in the elementary school sandbox, he'll challenge you to a 1v1. No time limit, zero stocks, items off, and only tournament legal stages. A reputable form of finding out who the real alpha is here. On the tier list, I'll throw the main fight under the A category. As for the second conclusion fight though, I'm gonna have to put that one under S. Unfortunately, I had to lower the difficulty of the game to easy. Surviving Tentacle Man's punches was impossible on Ultimate. You can beat Spider-Man PS4 without dodging, but changing the difficulty to the easy easiest will be needed. I feel as though this kind of negates the challenge because this game is ridiculously easy. You could literally throw your PS4 controller at a wall and complete the game on normal. A humunculus could beat this shit without even trying, but a W is a W even though it's a cheap one, and we take those each and every chance that we get. If you enjoyed the video and what I do here, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you want to join the squad and partake in future crusades, hit that bell notification. I know I said that Doom Eternal with the Power Glove was next, but I need a bit more time cooking up that bad little thing in the oven. Thank you to the Diaper Booty Chairman for funding this video, and thank you guys for watching. I love you, stay safe, peace, love, and boners.